So you want to find out a faster way to go ahead and delete that unwanted audio and your recordings? Keep on watching this video. What's up everybody? Chris Lee back with another United Destiny Entertainment tutorial video. Hey, check this out. If you are new to this channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell to get more videos like this in the future. All right, guys, Chris Lee back with another video. What I'm going to do with this video is try to make it really short and simple. I'm basically going to show you guys how to get rid of some of that unwanted audio. Instead of doing it the slow way, I'm going to show you guys how to do it the fast way. But in the process, I'm going to show you guys both ways. So I'm going to quit all this talk and I'm going to go ahead and jump into it and show you guys how to do it right now. Let's do it. All right, so here we go. <clears throat> All right, guys, so check it out. Normally, when you want to go ahead and start deleting some unwanted audio, if you notice, in between here, there's a lot of audio that you will not want in your recordings, okay? Uh, just because it's probably noise of um, you moving around or somebody talking in a background, which you probably shouldn't have that anyways, or like some type of unwanted noises or breaths or anything right before you start to sing a rap okay so you could easily go in and start deleting things by hitting this button here and doing it the slow way like you know clicking dragging and hitting delete say if i turn az on you just click this here and if i hit rnt i can spread this out okay so this really helps you go in and kind of like clean up some of that unwanted audio Highlight it, click it, delete it, whatever. But when you start to do that for an entire session, it can get very, uh, I guess you can say repetitive, um, boring, and take a very long time to go ahead and do that, especially if you got a big session. So you don't want to go through that entire process. So let me just go ahead and show you something real quick. Hypothetically, say if I went in and I was like, yo, let me just clean these vocals up real quick. So I'm going to highlight this. I'm just going to hit control F real quick to apply some batch fades because I don't want to hear any type of uh, clipping or anything like that. I'm going to hit enter and then I'm going to hold down shift alt three. That's going to combine everything. And in the process, what you want to do next is go ahead and hit control U and it will be um, command U on a Mac. OK, so now this is the strip silence. This strip silence is going to help me go ahead and delete a lot of the areas I wanted audio in this recording that I don't want to do the fast way. OK, so this is what you want to do. <clears throat> Long story short, it has a threshold here. And if I move this threshold to negative 60 dB or whatever the case may be, you can see that it basically makes like these little rectangular boxes around the audio. OK. So the more that I pull it back, it makes a less number. The more that I pull up the uh, the strip threshold, it has more boxes or more little areas of audio that it's trying to, um, I guess you can say, adjust to so I can go ahead and cut it out. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this back. And I would say, hypothetically, I'm okay with that. Something about right there. So negative 46, right? And then you have the minimum strip duration. So check this out. Watch what this do. So when I cut it down all the way, zero milliseconds, it does very small increments. But that's going to cut the audio out and strip it out if I go ahead and hit strip right now. That's not what I want. But if I go ahead and push this up some, it's going to make it a little bit more precise. Okay. So I would say that that's pretty precise right now. Now, what's the problem here? If you notice, if I stretch this out, it's cutting off some of my audio. It's just too close, and that's not what you want to have in this particular case, okay? We want it to be a little bit more precise than that. With the clip start pad and clip end pad, check this out. This is basically going to control, when I move it to the right, it's going to basically uh, give me more room at the start of it so i'm not cutting off important pieces of my audio vocals that i need okay so i would i'm gonna go ahead and move it there and i would say that that's pretty precise for me that's enough that i would say okay well i'm not really cutting off any of the vocals now i can just stretch it out a little bit more and then if i just wanted to make it just a little bit more tighter than that um 
that would be that would be pretty reasonable in my opinion. You just go through and you check it, and as you can see at the beginning of the vocals, it's not really cutting anything off. Now with the clip in pad, you go ahead and do the same thing. You move it to the right. It's going to basically salvage the end of your important audio vocals that you want to go ahead and keep. Okay, so we want to make sure that we do that in this process. All right, so once you figure out that you, you know, you got everything the way that you want it, all you have to do is just go ahead and hit strip. And voila, once you strip it, boom. Guys, that saves you so much time from going through and actually having to do everything a slow way like this. Boom. Highlight that. So say if I did that for the entire thing, that would get really repetitive and boring. Like I said, it would just take a whole lot. And then once you start to do things over here, say like just hypothetically, Control F, uh, Shift Alt 3, just, you know, just to do it pretty quick. Um, you can see it's pretty accurate for this one as well. If you go ahead and um, see what it's doing to this one, all I had to do was click on it and it pretty much did the same thing. So boom, voila, I'm pretty much done with it. I don't have to go through cutting all that stuff up. Now in the process, I just highlight everything, control F again to create the batch fade so it's not any clipping or popping in the beginning or the end of the vocals. Go ahead and hit enter, shift alt three, boom, voila, good to go. And guys, that's pretty much it. That was my quick tip for you guys to go ahead and learn how to use the strip silence inside of Pro Tools. It's very effective. It's a powerful tool and it really helps you get your sessions cleaned up really quickly. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Leave me some comments. Let me know what you think. Did it help you out? Do you plan on utilizing this inside of your next Pro Tools session when you're mixing or recording or doing whatever you do? If so, leave me some comments. Let me know what you think. And as always, stay tuned for the next video.